It's time for the Habs fans hangout. Game number 71, Montreal at Colorado, last game of the road trip. Hey, everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. All right, so the game is about to start. Uh, about, I'd say about eight, nine minutes till puck drop if there's no ceremonies. Um, this is a game that I'm sure most people think Montreal is going to get their asses kicked. I'm not one of those people. Um, Colorado is uh, is on a nine-game winning streak, yes. But they're kind of due for a loss. Montreal did beat them earlier in the season at home, but still. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think Montreal is going to win this game. So uh, let's hope I'm right. Uh, let's see who's here. Just Guru. Oh, I see. Hey, Guru, how's it going? All right. So, uh, oh, some people joining in. Hey, uh, Jean Melanson, how's it going? Did I pronounce that right? Um. All right. So, yeah, I have this feeling that this is going to be a good game for Montreal. I think that um, I, I just think Colorado is due for a loss. And uh, Montreal's going to give him that loss. So, what do you guys think of that? I have no reasoning behind it, just other than that. And we beat them already once this season. If Montreal does beat them, uh, we'll sweep the two-game series um, up for the season and be only the second team this season to sweep the, the Avalanche. So, go Habs, go. So, let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, what do you guys think the score will be or who will win at least? Uh, what, else, what do I have here? Montreal kind of going to be spoilers. Uh, uh, how they spoil things for the Avalanche? I imagine they'd like to win the President's Trophy. Why? I don't know. But, I mean, they, I imagine they're one point off of that. Um, you know, a loss here tonight might keep them out of that. That's a spoiler. So, oh, we also have the return of Marty St. Louis. Uh, his son, uh, Mason, is fine now and uh, back at home, and Marty's back behind the bench. So maybe that gives them a little boost. Um, Colorado due for a loss. Yeah, I, I think this, uh, um, this is going to be Montreal's game. Uh, Monty gets the start tonight. That's a good thing um, against... Um, Georgia, an overworked Georgia. If it was the backup, even more so that we're going to win, but we'll see what happens. Um, for a sec, I got excited. Uh, I saw Josh Wah on the bench, but I realized they were in red, so it's not this game. He's out of the season anyway. I've got the game going 4-3 for Montreal. And uh, for my guess to score contest, I figure a uh, new hooker Armia for me. Uh, yeah, Jay Fed, he they may they might do that. McKinnon is uh has a 34 a 34 game home point streak, uh, which he's got. I've got it here, uh, he's got like 78 points in that right here, 76 points in those 34 games. So, I don't know if they're gonna stop that, they don't have to to win the game. So, we're gonna see. Hey there, David. So, uh, about five minutes till they drop the puck. Let's see. Who's texting me? Sorry, it's my cousin. I'm just going to answer. Hey, Lucas. Got an exam tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so let's get a win to go into it in a good note. Yeah, hey, why not? You staying up for the whole game? Um.
Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm at a loss for words for some reason. Hey there, Justin. It's going to be a tough game for the Habs. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I, I think either way, I mean, it's going to be tough. They got to play hard. They got to play 60 minutes so um, to, to win. So, um, but yeah, I guess sort of. It could be a really bad game, too. I could be totally wrong. And we could get our asses kicked here tonight, too. Hey there, Phil. So we'll see what happens. We'll see where we get. We'll see how how the boys play. We'll see. Um, could Might see a really good game from Drouin. We got Lekkonen over there. Way to go, Lucas. Jim Kirk, you're back. It's been a while. Go halves, go. Besides, Jim Kirk's dead. He died in his last movie. All right. Well, if you're here, say hi. Uh, let me know what you think this how this game is gonna go. Do you agree with me that Montreal will win this game, or do you think Colorado will? Oh, my. So which one are you, Jim Kirk, or you're, uh, or are you, what was his name? <laughs> Mr. Sulu. Yeah, William Shatner just turned 93 last week, I think. So, yeah, he's alive and kicking. Although, at this age, you kind of got to go and check to make sure. But... Hey, Andrew. Still going strong. Well, how strong? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that we had 5,000 people, but I know what you mean. There were some big nights. I hope we get them back soon. The interest uh, in the next couple of years, I would seasons, I, I would imagine it's going to pick up like that. So, yeah, here's to that happening. <laughs> What do you mean? You're talking about Scotty. What are you talking about now? Bone. Wait, let's see. George Takei is a raging lunatic. I don't know if he's a raging lunatic. Why is George Takei off his rocker? I follow him on Twitter. If he's off his rocker, so am I. We are underway. Let's see what kind of start we get tonight. They've been coming out with some good starts in their last few games. They haven't always won them, but if um, the next point from Slavkovsky is a record breaker, remember that. That was quick. And uh, McKinnon's home, rec home scoring record is intact. 43 seconds, one nothing Colorado. Damn it.
I don't know. Did Monty got a piece of that, or I don't know. I can't tell. Did Colorado do anything for Newhook? If they did, they didn't show it on here. <laughs> Lucas Seeley's saying. Phil, um, first translate what you wrote there. Jim Kirk, yeah, yeah, they have 14 seconds of screen time. Someone has indeed mathed it, and it's hilariously unbalanced. All righty. I just said George Takei is a little off his rocker. Was that another goal? No. And Suzuki breaks in and scores. Wow, Suzuki's 29th. What the hell was that? Nice. One, one. Hey, Paul. Twenty nine goals, sixty seven points. Not even a minute in. Two goals on two shots. Uh, we're in for a ride tonight. You had McKinnon, Paul. I am in Montreal. I do not go to games. I'm here for every game. I haven't been to a game in a long time. Paul, you got 3-1. You took 3-1, Colorado. Hey, Joe. The tickets are expensive? Yeah, tickets are not cheap here. Yeah, crazy start. Crazy start. But it's, it's sort of calmed down. Although, no more shots, so maybe not. <coughs> Maybe it's one of those nights for the goalies where they can't stop a beach ball. Who knows? Can the Habs handle the avalanche speed? And I didn't see what it said for the key parts of the game, uh, according to Craig Button. Can Montreal handle the avalanche speed? I don't know. Speed in Montreal is pretty good, too. No, I'm just joking. Suzuki from Savard on that goal, by the way. That was close. Monty made the save. Uh, I, I, a two fifty for the Lafleur to the Caulfield was a present. Hey, Scorchy. Uh, who's who? Yeah, uh, that's weird. Oh, it didn't take long for the one-one score. Less than a minute in. Do I still invite the loudmouth for guests? Who's the loudmouth? 
It depends how far back you go. But that whole group there, only Matt and Pete are still around. JD JD comes into the chat every now and then, but that's it. And uh, Luna was on one of the podcasts recently. But I, I think you're talking about Steven. And no, I haven't uh, had Steven on. Or I haven't heard from him in a long time. Uh, Av, the Avs numbers are, are insane. I don't even know. Look at those numbers and go, what was I thinking saying the Canadians can win this? But I still think they could. I'm not going to give up on my boys. It's so early. And we're tied anyway. They come again already, eh? They just came. How can they come again? Oops, if there's any kids in the room, take them out, please. <laughs> Which one, the loudmouth? I'm pretty sure it's Steven. But, uh, Andrew, there, no, I've got uh, still Matt with me, uh, Pete, every now and then. But we're, we're, I'm working with uh, Harry Rice. Uh, we've got two of Matt's buddies, and we've got a new channel. We're all partners, and we're working together. And I like what's going on. Matt Wilson, we don't, we don't talk about gambling here. My opinion, gambling can go fuck itself, so. Alex will be here Thursday, maybe. I, I wouldn't count on it, and he said maybe in the third period he's got stuff to do. But, yeah, we're playing Philly. Um, I hope he's here, but I, I'm not going to count on it 100%. In fact, I've got to remember to send him the link <laughs> when, I put, when, I, when I put that up. So we're almost five minutes in, four and a half minutes in to this first period. Shots are 4-3 for Colorado, and we are 1-1. Face off at center ice here. What the hell? The horn's gone off. What the hell is that? I don't know what that was about. Come on. Armia with a shot and Georgiev with a glove save. Oh, wait a second. It's not Georgiev. It's the backup. It's the backup. We might have a chat. I have no idea what his numbers are. Who's Alex Kalsenyuk? Uh, Jim Kirk, yeah. Uh, Marty's back. Uh, David, uh, yeah, I'm dealing with that right now with a family member. So, yeah, uh, gambling. Gambling's not good for anyone, really. Except the people who uh, make money from it. And not the gamblers. You had McKinnon as well, 5-2, where Jack needs 5-2. I'm going to write this down. Uh, 3-1 had Paul. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> Anybody else out there have McKinnon? Six minutes in, uh, shots are 4-4. Scores 1-1. One, one. So, um, I mean, they might have given up that first goal real quick, but they got one back real quick. And so far, I mean, small sample size, they're holding their own. I think the key is going to be, do they take penalties or not? If they take penalties, it might be, uh, it, it's a hell of a power play here for uh, the Avs. Uh, Jim, Kerr, I can't stand the, the gambling stuff. Penalty coming up somewhere. Montreal, I'm sure, as I just said, that they shouldn't take penalties. They're going to take one here. Okay, where was the penalty? I didn't see it. I was looking for it, too, and I didn't see a penalty there. Yeah, I spoke it into existence. <laughs> Jinx. They're in a commercial break. You didn't see it also? I was looking. You said the tweet, tweet. I'm looking. I, I didn't see it. I don't even know what it was. I hate when that happens, right? There's a penalty, and then right away they cut away to commercials, and you don't get, you got to wait till you see it. Oh, this commercial. Let's see, if I can make something happen like an ass power play, I can then make, I could just say, well, Montreal's going to win like I did and make that happen. Speak it right into existence. I still, they showed it. I still didn't see it. Really? That's weak sauce, man. That's a weak call. I don't care. That's a weak call. Hooking. That was hooking. Okay. I guess that's what they, you know, that's what that was. <clears throat> 30 seconds gone in the power play so far. 
Uh, there was a point recently where Montreal was unbeatable on the PK. Uh, hopefully they can do that again tonight. Have that great that great game. Good save there, Monty. Read that well. It was close. Like he just got back in time there to the side, but made the save. Covers it. Covers the net. The side of the net. Yeah, this linesman likes to, or it's the ref. I don't know who he is, but wants to be a star. I'm a superstar. Uh, a minute left on the power play on my screen. Thirty seconds left on the power play. Five seconds left on it. I thought that it hit the post. Is that what it did? McKinnon almost got a second one there. They kill off the power play. Halfway through the period, shots are 5-4 for Colorado. It's still 1-1. One, one. Oh, oh, what happened there? Monty making saves. Miles Wood. Wow, that was close. Three big saves. Another penalty here? You're kidding me. Cross checking. It's gonna be one of those nights, I guess. Was that Superman flying through the air? I didn't see anybody fly through the air. I missed that. Did I miss that? But are we just gonna take penalties until they they you know only get like six goals? Then the rest will say, okay, we're good. They're going to be that kind of night? I mean, that first one to Suzuki, that was kind of mild. I guess he got his stick up in the hands. They're going to call that, but still. This time I heard cross-checking just before they cut out there. All right, okay, commercial, let's go. Let's get back. I don't know who got the penalty, but it's obviously Montreal. Yeah.
Ah, I see it. Jack, I didn't agree with that. Humans are grouse jugging, sure. Good move by Armia to get that puck and send it all the way down. We're halfway through this power play. Good night by the PK uh, unit could or units could really, really make the difference tonight. Nice stick there by goalie. Puck goes out. Eight and a half minutes left in the first. 35 seconds left on their power play. Shots are eight to four for them. And it's a 1-1 one, one tie. Save Monty. 16 seconds left on it. All right, cleared. That'll take away most of the rest of the time. Five seconds left. So two good kills by Montreal. They're even strength now. I see against Colorado. So PK, he said, have killed off 14 of the last 15 power plays. So nice. They're going to need to keep that streak going all game because uh, maybe I think the refs might want to give them a few. And uh, the Avs have a strong power play. Offside, okay. Guy was backward and fell down. I thought, okay, they're going to give a penalty for that. They did not, though. That's the surprise. Ooh, breakaway! Caulfield couldn't couldn't convert. He still had the puck though.
Boy. Seems to me like the refs' uh, whistles are in their pocket when it comes to Colorado doing things. Did everybody leave? Ooh, no hook went out. No, oh, ripped it wide. Whoop. Line two flying on this shift. Two good chances there. They're going to go to a commercial break. Watch. Go to a commercial break because, you know, why not? Late games keep people quiet? <laughs> I guess. It's not that late. It's only 9.30. Uh, Lucas, that, yeah, that's why I took him for the first goal. But uh, and, and he's the next ab. He really wants to do something here. Oh, yeah, it's 10.30 there, Paul. I forgot you're an hour different. I'm sorry. Lucas, yes, on uh, Thursday, Philadelphia is in Montreal for the start of I don't know how many games uh, homestand. Uh, let me see if I can try to figure that out. Five-game homestand. We're going to play Toronto next week. So, um, what are we to, to, to? This was 71. So, we got 11 games after today. We're getting there. Two more games in uh, in um, in March, and then there's nine in April. Also, uh, Slaff has uh, what today? What's he got? Uh, the thirtieth is okay. Wait, that's the thirty first. Thirtieth is there. So um, Slaff has tonight and Thursday to get that goal to go past Mario Tromley. There's a two-on-one. And Monty got across to make the save. Uh, Lucas, yeah, it's the last of the late games. Everything else is 7 o'clock. Well, we're working down to the last five minutes of the first. Uh, shots are 9-7 for Colorado. It's a 1-1 tie. So, like, all in all, scores. Armia go up 2-1. Nice. Nice. But I was going to say, if they get out of this tied up, this is a good all-around period. And Armia, nice. Come on, boys. I wonder if uh, Newhook gets an assist here.
Gallagher didn't really touch it. Nice wraparound by Armia. No doubt about it. Okay, show us the goal or the the. I want to see who got the assist. Sorry, I've been so silent. I've been waiting for them to put this up. Shots are nine apiece. Four forty left in the first, and who got the assist on that goal? Or assist? Nope, we just they haven't decided yet. <laughs> I was going to say as he was going in, if Andy gets the goal, that seals it. We're going to win. But he didn't get anything there. Four minutes left. Born to be happy. Maybe you're right. They should have. Three twenty left in the first. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing down here, there? Wow, ranting and off the post. That was close. They gave the assist to, assist to Slav? Because they didn't show it here. To Slav? Was he on the ice? Oh, yeah, uh, Ratnan right off the uh, crossbar. New Hook with another good chance there. Under two to go. Save Monty. It's a battle tonight, man.
Good save, Monty. ABL. 4-3 over Florida for the Bruins. Wow. Not too shabby. Yeah, a good uh, first period by Montreal. Last minute to play in the first period. The announcer at the uh, ring, it sounds like the guy in Saw. The bad dude in Saw? I don't know. The movie Saw, you know? Anyway. My ears tell me. 30 seconds left here in the first. Montreal going to get out of this two to one. By the way, I should point out that uh, Paul, with that second halves goal, he's out of the I guess the score contest, but. Jack Newell still in. Has it 5 2 for Colorado. So he's still in the running. They will see each other again. We'll see you again, man. Laval this weekend, I believe. I don't. I don't watch the Saw movies. I just. I know the the voice. That that announcer sounds like that guy. <laughs> so it is two one Montreal after one period of play. Nice. So maybe I'm right. Montreal can win this game. I'll say this though. If they are going to win this game, it is not going to be easy. That first period was a battle. And it could it might get worse. We'll have to see. All right, so we do have this uh, uh, intermission. And, uh, yeah. Um, I've got to make a note. There. I didn't want to forget. Uh, where are all the Americans tonight? Uh, they, it's too late, this game for Matt. Uh, who else should be here? Yeah, that wheel was a screwy thing. That was totally, like, not on purpose. Hey, Harry, how's it going, Harry? Anyone who says Montembeau isn't a starter is lying to you. No, they're not lying. They're idiots. And if you can look at Monty now and go, yeah, I don't know. I'm still not sold on Monty. I'm, you know, maybe calling you an idiot is a bit much, but I mean, really? That's what I got to say. But, I mean, the first period was really good. Montreal playing strong. Uh, you know, they're uh, working their asses off. Uh, PK unit killing off two power plays was a big. Monty was really good, except on that first shot, you know. Uh, same with the other goalie. Basically, right? First shot, gave it up, and then... Both have uh, uh, shut the door since then. But it is their backup goalie. And I, I was hoping for that. Just, it gives them a little bit more of a chance uh, to win against uh, Colorado. Uh, we'll see. Uh, 
Harry Ice, uh, or no, Harry Ice will throw Monty under the bus when Fowler rounds into form. No, I don't think it, you know, at that point, it wouldn't be uh, about throwing Monty under the bus. You know, um, I mean, let's face it, right? He's, he's, He's here basically. Monty's basically here for a limited time. What that limit is, we don't know, but probably two, three years is length of his contract. So, but you're probably right. I mean, you know, you know how how Harry is. Hey, Paul, have a good night, man. Don't forget where Paul is. It's an hour later. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right. What are we going to talk about? we got a little bit of time here. Whatever you guys want. I I don't have much here. I, I don't have much prepared. I, remember I said I would do that. I would I would prepare. I didn't. Take me at my word. Uh, so um, did Slav get that? Oh, let's look that up. Did Slav get that point or not? Odyssey, hang on. Let me just find that. No. Oh, Slav got an assist on Nick Suzuki's goal. That's what everyone's confused on. Slav's got the assist. They added an assist to the Suzuki goal. Slav got an assist with uh, David Savard. So, yes, Slav is the record holder for most points in a single season by a teenager. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I, I, I'm glad he has it and uh, Mario Dromley doesn't anymore. Is Matt at home watching The Bachelor? No. Matt is uh, doing whatever he's doing, but Matt works, and he gets up early, and this is a little late for him to be uh, doing that. You know, when I was uh, his age, yeah, I'd go to I could go to work on two three hours sleep, no problem. Hell, I I what I forget what night it was. I think Sunday nights we used to play. I used to play um, some some uh, old timer hockey, um, and and we used to play in different spots. But a lot of times I could be pretty far, uh, so we'd play. Um, and it was not. It was something like we start at uh, ten thirty and finish at midnight. So midnight, I drive home on the way home, pick up some Harveys, of course. Uh, get home, have that. Get to sleep. Maybe if I'm lucky at three, maybe four. Then up at six. Into Lachine, there used to be a golf course on Thirty Second Avenue, a nine hole. Right, get there, meet a couple of friends, and play nine holes of golf. Then go to work. I right hear Matt can't stay up late to watch the game because he's got to work. I mean, just saying. Kids aren't made of the same stock we were. I see. Where was I? Hey, Andre. Good to see you, buddy. Pete the Fist is working. Uh, Pete, uh, his his nights off are um, are Wednesday and Thursday, so Pete's working tonight. Jack Hughes just scored five three New Jersey versus Toronto. Who's in that there? Is it uh, is it uh, Allen? Oh, excuse me. I shouldn't be doing that. It's early. It's these late games. I mean, you know, I'm up at my normal time. And usually we're, what, it's it's 10? Yeah, usually we're done already. Or just about. Yeah, allen has been really good in New Jersey. He's been really good in New Jersey. Not just solid, like really good in New Jersey. 
Yeah, listen, I'm happy for him. I, 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 yeah, why wouldn't I be happy for him? I don't think he gets to the playoffs, though, with New Jersey. I, I don't see how New Jersey's going to make it. It doesn't look like it, if you ask me. But, I mean, the way Allen's playing, well, it's their best shot to get in there. But they got too many teams to, to leapfrog, like two or three teams to leapfrog over. To get in, I don't see it with it's not enough games left. In my opinion. Max Gunville. Wow. How's it been? Excuse me. How's it going? Uh it was it's the night of all the people who <laughs> I haven't seen in a long time. Good to see you there, Max. I've been okay. I'm okay. Overall, you know, it's something, and from somewhere like that to good, depending on the day. Imagine what a comp, what a competent team in front and a solid dis- defensive system can do. Uh, you're saying in New Jersey, yeah, but I mean, listen, they're still not in the playoffs. So. But yeah, you know. Plus, change of scenery. Got a boost over there for some reason. Empty netter 6 3. New Jersey beats Toronto. Nice. I'm glad. Glad. Glad to see Toronto losing anytime. Leafs lose. Yeah, Max, it's been a while, eh? It's been a while. And that's all good. All good. I hope all th- I'll, I hope things are good for you as well. Sorry, my cousin again. So, we have roughly about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes to go here till we get back to the second. Uh, whatever you guys want to talk about. Winnipeg have now lost three in a row. Will be four if Edmonton holds on here. Yeah, listen, you know what? Um, it's like anything. Um, it's hard to nail down that last, you know. But I think Winnipeg's solidly in playoffs, right? I don't, yeah, yeah. Sometimes teams peak a little too early, right? And then they get to the playoffs and they ah, fall apart. Like I, I don't know what it is with Winnipeg, but I'm not that unhappy. Even though Monaghan is there, I don't see. I don't really like Winnipeg anymore. So. They're better off not winning the President's Trophy anyway, you know. It's a jinx. (laughs) Well, Max, good to hear that. Good to hear that. What would I offer Slaff in the offseason? Is he uh, up for a contract? Uh... You know, if you can nail him down and get him signed for eight years, you're probably better off. If you give him a bridge deal, that number is going to go big time up when that bridge deal is over. You could say it's a small sample size, and you don't really want to lock him up. And all. yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. It's a really good question. I don't know how I'd feel about that. I would think that's a piece that you lock up. So uh, you're offering him eight years. You're offering him eight years at, uh, uh, I mean, if you want to lock him up now, you got to give him a little bit more than you would on a bridge deal, I think, because you're asking him to give up something. 
you know, probably it's going to – if that's the case, I think seven and a half, seven, seven and a half. Yeah, I think who's got seven in there? Can, uh, yeah, seven and a half. I, mean, I think I read this. Uh, I, it might have been a comment to my Twitter. I don't know, but I saw somebody wrote about this, and they thought seven and a half for eight years. And, yeah, I don't think you're giving him more than Suzuki. Um, and considering for what how much time he's here, probably that's a little bit of an overpayment, but you got to pay him a little more to get him to sign for the eight years, you know, because he could take a bridge deal, boom, 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 and then really cash in, say, in three years. Anyway, that's there's my opinion, which is based on other people's opinions because I hadn't really thought about it, to be honest with you. Um, and so there you go. No, more than Suzuki, no. I don't think he's getting more than Suzuki. Not on such a not on such a small sample size. Is he going to be a better player than Suzuki overall? I don't think so. A totally different type of player, maybe yes, and a very complimentary player. But I don't think so. So I don't think I don't think you're giving him more than Suzuki. If you want to give him the same like they did with Caulfield, I'm good with that. I think it'll have to be something like that anyway. And then again, you never know. Maybe uh, even Slap's willing to sign for a little less. He's happy to give, you know, who knows what. And then, you know, a little less would be what? Six and a half, six point seven five, something like that. But you got to give him the eight years. Uh, BL, um, why wouldn't Suzuki make the 2026 Olympic team? I'm not saying he will. There's no reason to think that he can't. Or that even that he shouldn't. He should make it. He wants to. I know that. Yeah, he can. They're not. They're not. They're not with Slav. Jeez. Fire GM if he does that. Max, that sounds right. I think Max might have it. You give you give Slaff uh, the long term and you give Arbor the bridge deal. Uh, Max, I really doubt they're going to draft a defenseman. I wouldn't worry about it. And I wouldn't put it like that. Another fucking defenseman. You're going to love Reinbacher. You're going to look back and go, that was not a bad pick. Aiken, yeah, with that 200-foot game. I mean, he's got he's got the Bergeron kind of game. Bergeron went to the, to the, to the international tournaments. Suzuki's going to go. Yeah, Aiken, I, I think Suzuki's going to go. Suzuki's a great player. It's because he's in Montreal, I think, that he gets any knock at all. I think if he was on another team, wouldn't get the same questions. Uh, BL, uh, nobody here had Reinbacher, but when we look back, you know, say five years after the draft, I'm confident <laughs> nobody's going to be like, I'm confident of this. Almost everybody who knocks that pick today or last year will be, oh, no, I knew all along. No, I was one of the people like Reinbacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody will be the one that was against the Reinbacher pick. You'll see. Uh, BL, I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a draft for need, but, I mean, they're in a great spot, and drafting for need there is not a problem because you've got great players there, potentially great players there. So, yes, best forward available, not best player available necessarily. I think how Hughes put it exactly is this. If they deem 
uh, without saying forward or defenseman, but if they deem there's a few players they like and they think they're all at the same talent level, then they will draft for need. So what they're saying other than that is if there's a defenseman there that's so far and above everybody else, they might do that. But otherwise, they're drafting for need, and that would be a forward. And I don't see that they're going to draft anybody, a defenseman. There's a good crop at the top of the draft of defensemen and forwards. So here we are, coming back. Second period. Yeah, um, Max, I'm agree, I agree with you. Matheson, I, I I don't know. I had said to probably trade him before his contract's up. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense. He might be the guy that stays and stays for another contract. They won't sign him to eight years, though, but he'll get a four-year deal, maybe five years at the most. I think that makes sense with Matheson. I mean, Matheson, uh, and barring injury or anything that really hurts his career, should be pretty good till he's 37, 38, 39 even. He's got defensemen like that and a defense, they, they go longer. Especially guys that can skate like he does. Oh, that was close. Good save. Good Monty. Tra good tracking Monty. Good Monty tracking all of a sudden, I am, uh, what's his name there? Yoda. Jack, I was kind of mean there. <laughs> A couple of nice, I think it was on the car. Maybe I'm wrong on that. So just over two minutes in on my screen. It's uh, 15 to 11, and that's the shots on goal. Colorado up on that. Montreal up to one. But another um, good second period like the first so far. Hopefully Montreal won't succumb to that second period, those second period brain farts that they do often have. All right, we're face off is uh, what uh, to the right of uh, Monty. Good cost. White gets tossed. Harvey Pinard taking the draw.
four minutes into the second. Not so many chances. Oh, speaking of that, almost got a breakaway there. McKinnon, I think. Yeah. Almost. Pressure now by the Avs. What can they do with it? Jesus, the pressure here by Montreal just can't get the puck. They can't get the puck. They can't get it out. Good um, uh, save there by Monty with his leg against the post. Got his pad over just in time. Finally, they clear it. You make a change. Monty save and he hangs on for a face off. No, I think they're going to decide on. Uh, I mean, I, I think they'll trade Savard and I think they'll hang on to Matheson. And it's going to be Savard. I don't think they're going to. Well, well, Matheson got a good offer. We'll trade him and we'll keep Savard. I don't think that. They're trading Savard. My opinion. My opinion. Six, just over six, no, just under six minutes left. Gone, excuse me, in the second period. Okay, Rick, it's been five late games in a row, and I'm tired of them. We're getting, getting to the halfway point of this one. The second period, not as exciting or as fast a pace as the first. So what that's about, I don't know, but it's definitely doesn't have that oomph to it that the first period had. And that last bit of pressure by Colorado, I guess starts to make me worried about a bad second period for Montreal, but so far so good. Especially if they can get the next goal to have. It would be awesome. Three two Oilers over Winnipeg. Uh, they they might have no choice but to slow down a bit at the end because they just they're on a nine game heater. I don't know how long that can keep going, but yeah, they're the hottest team I believe right now in the NHL. Um, not a great time to like if they were peaking and that they're coming off of that. It's not a great time to do that though. So I'd worry a little bit about it.
crank that pretty fast. Oh, I can I have no idea what their money situation is. Um, you know, when you're a contender like that, just because they traded for a middle stat doesn't mean they're planning to retain or anybody that they traded for. Um, it could just be the for the push. And then you never know how it shakes out in the summer anyway. It might depend. Listen, if they win the cup, you know. Because they gave up Bo and, By Bo and Byram for uh, for Middlestat. So you got to figure Middlestat is probably in their long-range plans. I would think. Yeah, a lot of a lot of pressure by uh by the avalanche. A lot of zone time. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, 30. Suzuki will hit 30. He's got 11 games to get it. He's going to get it. And part of it, he's still got half of this one, too. Eight minutes gone in the second. Shots are 18 to 13 for Colorado. Two to one, Montreal. Monty with a save. We'll have a face off in front of him. Montreal with the third most goals from defensemen this season. Right in between Carolina and Calgary. They got 45. Cal Carolina. I think. Carolina, right? Carolina with 46 and Calgary with 44. Uh, Montreal high sticking. Fuck. Ulanen. Is it Ulanen? Harris. Two for high sticking. Ah. Uh, 
I was a little careless there, Jordan. Can't keep giving these guys power plays, no. Well, PK was good, the first two. Let's see what they do here. Evans wasting good time. Minute 20 left in the power play. 10.05 left in the second. Let's clear it. Suzuki, Harvey Pinard, and Arbor Jackeye shot Jackeye off a skate or something. Days in play. So far, a good kill. Zuki clears it all the way down. Twenty five seconds left in the power play. Clear doubt again. Killed off. No hook shot. Got through traffic, but a save by, I don't know what his name is, the goalie. What's his name? I can't see his name. An Anonin? Anunin? Anybody know what that goalie's name is? Commercial break, of course, again. And it suddenly got hot in here. It's supposed to be nice and warm here in Montreal tomorrow. Woohoo! It's an it's an anonin. Anonin. Three letters. A N O. N A N. Anonan. And no nan, and noonan. Which one is it? I think it's what Aiken says. And noonan. Anyways, backups in. Maybe Montreal wins. We'll see. So far, two one. It's doing good. They're doing really good. So far, my my prediction is looking good. Not actually the score, but that Montreal beats them. So far, Knockwood, I'm right. Ouch, I hit myself too hard.
He's decency when watch. Uh, right. Good English there, Aiken. He's decent when you've seen him, is what you're saying? <laughs> Let's go, let's go. I sing against Colorado. Only three shots is all we've had. Eh? No, it's a low. It's a low shooting game. Low shots so far. I find because it's a real battle out there. I mean, defensively, uh, puck battles along the boards. It's a battle tonight. Yeah, they just made a good point, right? How they're playing really hard for for the coach tonight. Get him a win on his first game back. They're happy to have him back. There's no W in it, uh, Guru. That I know. It's Anunin. I think he's Finnish. To me, that's the Finnish name. He's had four wins in his last five starts. Uh, he's due for a loss. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how good he is or not. I just, I, I'm happy the backup is in. Maybe I should be happy, not happy the backup is in. Been down to seven minutes left in the second period. I'm still up to one. Yay. Uh, Lucas, I would imagine he was uh, he was ready. And uh, Matt Outdoor, you know I don't like that. I wish you wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised he uh, he joined him on the road. Yeah, it's just a spoiler that I don't like. Also makes me realize how far behind they am. It hasn't happened yet. It's almost impossible I should be this far behind. But here they're going to come out. Now, nope. How far behind am I? I'm gonna, once the goal happens, I'm going to refresh because this is ridiculous. It hasn't happened yet. Good old sports net for you, you know.
You screwing with me? You're screwing with me. There's no goal. It's not much of a joke. I don't think that's very funny. You know, small things amuse small minds. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about that, right? Yeah, I think so too, uh, Lucas. It's okay. We'll just have to take care of it. I don't know why he wants to keep doing that. No, he just thinks I'm a pushover. I'm not. Just a nice guy. Maybe it was a prediction? No. He's just trying to push my buttons. I didn't show him the first game. The smiles should be on my face, though. All right, so like five minutes left here in a second. Monahan with a big goal. Whoop, whoop. Slap. Getting into it. I didn't give who the oh yeah no I didn't. It looks like Washington is headed towards the playoffs. Yeah, what happened? I didn't see.
Four minutes left here in the second. Montreal catching up on shots. Good save there in traffic, Marty. Andy with the puck. Going to do nothing with it. So what just happened there? <laughs> Typical refs. Sounds like a uh, refs in a Habs game. 220 left here in the uh, second. Two minutes left now. Allen beat the Leafs 6 3. Yeah, I know someone had that in earlier. One and a half minutes left in this uh, second period. Do I know what happened to Brad Arsenault and Bubble Tea? Bubble Tea is still around, uh, I think. Uh, Brad Arsenault, I haven't seen him in a while. Did I ban them? I don't believe so. Let's see, when was the last time I saw Bubble Tea? You know what? I'm, I don't know. But I didn't ban them.
A little push here by Montreal. 35 seconds left to the second. Oh, Jesus. Wow, that guy nearly gave it away there. All right, so Montreal gets out two to one after two. Nice. So, stayed with them. Wasn't the most exciting second period, but the results were good. Brad is probably Bartholomew. Bartholomew, I uh, him I gave the old uh, ban. I think uh, Bong Breath and Bartholomew are the same guy. Gonna be lots of fun around one matchups. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what I don't. I don't know. There's enough of them that aren't set yet. No. Or none of them are set. Yeah, Matthews has 59 goals. So what? He hasn't scored much in a month, though. He's got like eight goals in a month. So we got an, uh, uh, the intermission. We've got about 15, 16 minutes left. What you guys want to talk about? Montreal will be very strong. They'll be stronger. I will see. We'll see how good they are next year. I mean, there are a lot of things at play, right? Injuries, most importantly. Well, Guru, I mean, if they can just keep with them like they are here, um, you know, play a 60-minute game. So, uh, so far, 40 minutes. Play another 20 minutes like that. They should be good. Hyman in OT. Oilers win 4-3. to three. Nice. I can't remember. Who are they playing again? San Jose needs to be investigated for tanking. Why would they should they be investigated for it? We were all hoping, remember, we were calling last year for the tank here. So many people this year, but then investigate it? No. There's, if you ask me, they're screwing themselves. I don't know when they're going to recover from everything they traded away. Uh, oh, oh, I see. So Winnipeg lost. Uh, 16 win season. Yeah, I mean, they're going to finish last. Is it going to guarantee them that first pick, though? It doesn't. That's the unfortunate thing. So imagine they do that and they end up dropping the third instead of getting first. Because that could happen very likely. Kira, what are you doing? (sighs) 
What band from Marshawn and Matthew? What are you talking about? What is San Jose? That didn't come out. What is San Jose Risk doing that Buffalo did? What's that? And then what else did I want to say? Uh, yeah, what's this band imminent for Matthew and Marshawn? What does that mean? Longest streak without playoffs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean that's not a it's not a record you want. That's for sure. Buffalo is when it's been what eleven years this year? No, it's been longer than that. When was the last time Buffalo was in the playoffs? Oh, it's hot in here. I gotta take this off. It must be warming up outside. It's longer than 10 years for Buffalo, 13 or 14 years, I think. You know, it's different than a, a cup drought, you know, but imagine 13, 14 years, no playoffs. Ah. At least we've gotten in the playoffs. And then you could be the least where you get in the playoffs, but you don't win anything ever. Don't win a, a round, definitely don't win a cup. So it's 14 years for Buffalo, you're saying, this year. <laughs> Crazy stuff. The uh, 2010 Olympics, that year, that's the last time Buffalo got in. That's, yeah. That's pretty sad. Imagine being a fan and you're just shit for 14 years. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Kira, can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> okay, stop. Good girl. <coughs> they keep scaring me that their game's back on. It's just highlights, though, I think. Yeah, but something's something's missing there in Buffalo. It's the management. I think it's it's the ownership actually. Ownership needs to step away from hire good people to run it and step away. Oh yeah, I can't wait for the seven o'clock starts to come back. So uh just to go over that um Thursday, back home. They're back home, back to the 7 o'clock starts the rest of the season. I'm happy for that. You know, I don't mind the odd late start, but this is uh, five in a row. Is no, I don't like this at all. I'm tired now. I want to go to bed. No. Uh, Andre, I doubt Montreal. I mean, Montreal's already gotten, you know, gotten in two years so much farther than Buffalo has in 10. All right, so what do we got? We got about, oh, shit, I don't even know. 
about 10 minutes, seven minutes till they come back for the uh, third. What are we going to talk about? Let's get this show like pumped up now. Come on, let's go, boys. What are we going to talk about? Definitely not talking about energy drink. I ran out. It caused me to smoke some more. My hands are bloody dry. I have no idea why all of a sudden my hands are so dry like it was midwinter. They're freaking hurting me. Come on, guys. What are we going to talk about? First one in the chat with something to talk about does not win a prize. The Flyers really surprise you? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Except, you know, because of Alex, I guess I followed them more than I would have. So, yeah, I maybe, maybe not. But going into the season, I wouldn't have thought they'd make the playoffs, no. Yeah, they're having a good season. It's their year. Imagine, I mean, the coach has something to do with it. They've got some young kids there that are really good, like Forster. You got Konechny there. And then Urson. Urson coming, you know, coming through for them. Um, you know, after losing Carter Hart, um, that, that's got to be huge for them this year. Is Urson. Bill, why you bring that up? What what changed or what's come out about Crosby that I didn't hear? Again, yeah, Torch's uh, having a good year as a coach, I I think too. Yeah. Gotta put some of that on. On torts for sure. Andre, I agree with that. I, and I've been saying I don't think Crosby going anywhere. So and he hasn't, and I don't think he will. David Reinbacher should be ready next year. I don't disagree with that. I think um, there's a really good possibility. Yeah, he'll break camp with Montreal. And if not, it'll be, you know, an early call up and stick. But so far, uh, his first few games with uh, the with the Rocket, he's really looked fine. Looks like he's ready. The show Rybacher here now. He's got a goal and two assists, or a goal and an assist in his first three games. Pretty impressive for uh, for this kid. Oh, shit. oh I'm tired. Sorry, guys. But JFed, I mean, it was their inability to commit to making a rebuild. And, and, you know, who's to blame? It probably is Bergevin for that because he was the one that was in Molson's ear, you know, convincing him what to do. In my opinion, because uh, Molson didn't have any trouble to be convinced once he made the change. So, was he in a position to tank or not tank? They needed to make a decision of a rebuild or just keep doing what they're doing and they wanted to keep for some reason just keep putting band-aids on didn't work but Benjamin brought us some really good pieces right a lot of guys we're cheering for today and that's mark Benjamin brought them here so you know drafted them or however
So you're saying he's going to get traded or not? Oh, that's the 50-50 part, Bill, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see him going anywhere else. Although apparently he said he's he'll be okay if they trade him, he'll he'll accept it. Elio, you think Toffoli will be back here next year? Why would you say that? At what is he going to be? 31, 32? How old is he? Um, I say no. Toffoli's not coming back. They're not bringing guys in like that next year. The year after would be a different story, but it wouldn't be guys that age. If they're going to be bringing in players, they're going to be younger than Toffoli is. Uh, Bill, that list sounds right. It looks right. Uh, Aiken, Crosby wishes he could compete for one more cup, too. So you share that with him. Tyler is a win now player. Let's see. If they believe they can win now next season, I still think Toffoli's too old. I mean, you want to if you're gonna bring in a UFA, you bring in a guy that's 27, 28, closer to the ages of the young kids. Um, you know, I don't see them bringing in a guy that's 32, 33, however old he is. I, I don't see that. And you can say, well, veteran, but you don't have to be 31, 32, 33 to be a veteran. 27, 28, you're a veteran. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I don't think in the offseason, to me, no, nope, they are not bringing in UFAs. The year after, different story. This, this year, I don't think they're going to be active for UFAs. Uh, yeah, wasn't that like two seasons ago? I remember that stuff. Was it two seasons ago or last season? But I, I remember this about um, Rutherford wanting to do that and Crosby not wanting to. But now that they've traded Gensel, so one of those pieces away, I, yeah, I still don't see him going anywhere else. He's a He's a penguin for life. Uh, Jafed sounds right, but like I said, um, I still think he wants to stay there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, Elio, you think they should be in a wild card, but you're not going out and getting uh, um, free agents unless you're confident that you have a real shot at a wild card. If they feel that, okay, but I don't know how they're going to know that for sure or have that feeling uh, at free agency time. If they wait long, long, they're not going to get the guy they want anyway. So, no, I, I really think it's the year after. They're underway for the third. That was a close shot. Well, Colorado's coming out looking for a goal. There's no doubt here. They're pushing for one. 30 seconds in, so Montreal finally gets it out. Three on two. Bad pass by Slap. Oh, Montreal's turn to get a couple of good shots there. Put some pressure.
Crosby is brainwashed, really. Jesus, Andy, what the hell are you doing out there? It's almost like Andy forgot how to play hockey, man. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, Aiken, I didn't think Carlson was going to help him. This third period so far, right, uh, almost two and a half minutes in, is much more like the, fir the first. The pace is there, the energy, the, the, the determination to score, both sides. The second period didn't have it. Another good save, Monty. <laughs> Big pressure by freaking Colorado. Good night for Monty so far. I'm gonna have to steal this one. Laffy with a pair tonight. Been a pretty decent season for him. Four minutes into this third period. Still 2 1. I see against Montreal. Laugh is starting to rise. Might actually reach that level. You mean like of a first overall pick? Yeah, I don't know. He still has time, I guess, but, you know, he is starting to show something, though. Uh, Aiken, I know they tried to trade him. We'll see if they do. He's still young. He's still young enough not to be bust yet. But he's getting there, right? He is getting there now.
Jesus, that was through traffic, but didn't get all the way through. Here come Habs. Galley, can he hang on to it? Drop pass. Shot and save. True man is playing well. French Canadian kid had to get out of Montreal. I mean, is he playing well or is he playing, you know, at his, you know, we've seen it before, though. He's on pace to maybe get a couple points more than his career high. I, I don't know. He's playing with more confidence. He He does look better out there. But his production numbers are still the same. But, I mean, he does look better. He looks happier. Like, he, yeah, he had to get out of Montreal. I agree with that. But I don't know. All this ranting and raving about Drew and his numbers are not much better. Hey, Bruce. They've been in a lot of one one point games or one goal games, Bruce. So yeah. <coughs> They're playing more than reasonably reasonably well tonight, Bruce. This is a good game by Montreal tonight. They're not dominating, but they're staying right with them and hanging on to this so far. Plus, Monty's pretty good tonight. Another good save by Monty. Monty trying to steal this game. Their compete is great tonight. I don't think anybody is dumb. Who says that? I think lots of people are dumb. I'm just not going to name names here. That's all. Too many commercials. Ay, ay, ay. I'll call them down for. <laughs> We're still learning the, the program. I mean, I didn't have the. He has it, but I thought it was fun. Uh, we made it fair, though, at the end. It put everybody in. Anyway, go check it out. Definitely go check it out. I had nothing to do with that over I I'm innocent. 
We are at the one, uh, it's 1234, one, two, three, four mark of the third period. Actually, it's 12.34 left in the third period. No, it's true. Guru ended up winning, and he got the first one. So, in a way, it's appropriate, right? But I agree. It kind of was dumb. <laughs> it was a screw-up. Technical problems. Should have been tripping there. <laughs> Good one, Bill. It's the Americans' fault. I'll agree with that. It's the Americans' fault. Problem is, I'm half American, so. I dropped that fucking puck already. Come down to 11 minutes to go in the third. 26 22. Shots on goal. Colorado leading. Montreal leading 2 to 1, though. Icing against Montreal. An icing, so everybody's got to go back out there. They were gassed. You can see Galley going back. Galley gets off there. You have to change one guy. Gooley clears it down. Everybody changes. <coughs> wow. Nice moves, McKinnon. Thank God he didn't score. Jesus. I was only half to blame? No. I might have been half American, but I'm not half to blame. Dirty dangles by Nate McKinnon there, man.
not really dangles, but he just like he, he just moves. I don't know. Andy with a breakaway. He's not going to do anything but fall on his ass and slide into the corner. God damn. Like, I don't know what's up with Andy. I really, I don't know. He looks so far, like, out of his fucking league, man, to, lately. Gotta say. Ah, he draws a penalty, but he totally he whiffs on it right in front of the net. God damn it. But he draws a penalty, so maybe maybe they get a goal. You never know. If they can get a goal on this power play, it's huge. Huge, my friends. So this game is not over yet, that's for sure. But I would think if they're going to get another goal, I mean, if they're going to pull the goalie. Um, yeah, it's going to, it's not over yet <laughs> by any means. Uh, BL, yeah, you know, on the live podcast, I guess we got to sort of tone that down. On the uh, audio podcast, when we do audio, um, this swearing, I mean, that's kind of normal on podcasts. But I, I think you're right uh, about it on on the uh, live ones, for sure, or just the video ones in general. So I will uh, bring it up. I will bring that up. But they are well spoken on hockey. They are. Big moment of the game is McKinnon's first goal. Montreal's got two since then. How's that the big moment of the game? I think in general, Aiken, I appreciate that. I, I We try to be funny anyway. Cam's hilarious. He can do so many voices. He's a talented kid. Talented kid. Habs first power play of the night with 8.30 left in the or 8 minutes left in this whatever, wherever it came. <laughs> that's when they get their first power play. Yeah, that seems right. Wrong guy. Good keeping by Matheson.
Vamos lá, boys. Canetting move. That's going to kill it off. That's a shame. Matt's in the process of moving uh, BL. So we already knew he's going to be uh, another couple of weeks like that. Look at Matt, we got to get his head up and looking at the camera. Five thirty-five. When are they going to pull the goalie? Well, if they don't score, I guess right. They're going to have to pull the goalie. Let's see if Montreal can hang on. How I do? No, I'm do this on camera. Just hang on. I'm just going to close the camera for a sec. Montreal going on the power play again. Galley draws a penalty. Look at that. Are the refs feeling okay? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm, they probably had no choice here in this one. So they go into commercial. We come back. Habs are on the power play. They get another opportunity. That last one was pretty good. They came close there. Um just rinse and repeat, do that again, and hopefully you can cash in and get a little insurance with the you know with minutes left. I'd love to get them to get that insurance goal. We'll see if they can. Just to remind everybody, uh, when the game ends, I will be uh, going over to the, uh, the, the, the Don't Puck With Media, our second channel. Link is in the description to do the post-game breakdown. So right after this game, we'll be heading over there. And, uh, you know, we'll look at the stats from the game. Three stars, that kind of stuff. Stupid commercial. Molson's Canadian Hockey is brought to you by Molson's. Really, I would not have thought that. I just wouldn't have thought that. Oh, yeah, Galley took a high stick to the face. Oh, it's a four. It's a four. Montreal, four minutes. Oh, boy. And with what? Five left? 503. They get a four minute power play. This could be 
are really good. Yeah, lots of blood there. Come on, boys, get an insurance. You can get two of them. If they're really lucky, they can do it. Let's see. <coughs> I'll take one. I don't need two. It pretty much takes away them pulling the goalie. So... Barring any shorthanded activity. Suzuki with a one-timer. Uh-oh. Stolen puck, training. Have to get the puck back. Slash. New hook. So they're back in set up. And they give it away again. Three minutes to go. First uh, power play is over. Suzuki, nice knockdown of the puck. Steel. Still can't freaking do anything with it. Wow, new hook with a one timer. Big save by, uh, what's his name again? Ananen. 224 to go. About, that means 124 the uh, power play left. Something like that. Time out. Time out, uh, Colorado. I imagine the plan for Colorado is kill off the penalty. As soon as it's over, get the goalie, get, get the puck, get down the ice, get the goalie out of there. Imagine that's what they're looking to do. Colorado's nine game winning streak on line on the line. Suki sort of won the draw, but then gave up the puck. Have to get it back, go the other way.
They can't control the puck. Comes out again, picked up by Matheson. Two minutes left, 58 seconds left in the power play. Twenty seconds left in the power play. Wow, goalie one timer high. Okay, that power play is gonna be over. One oh two left. What does Colorado do? Only Montreal, keep the puck up there and keep the goalie in the net. Keep the goalie in the net. That's not going to keep the goalie in the net. 35 seconds to go. Empty net, Colorado. Come on, just get the puck and clear it. Puck is out of play. Ten seconds left. Yikes. Yikes. A big ten seconds left. And they hang on. Come on, hang on, hang on. Four seconds left. Glove save, Monty. Well, I dare say they win. And confirmed by BL. Um, I called it. They get the right score. But in my preview, I said Montreal going to win tonight. Boom. Just want to confirm it. <laughs> Game over. Montreal wins. What a huge win for Montreal. They stopped their nine-game streak of, of Colorado. And uh, just a great game. Uh, they win it for Papa Smurf, I think. Yeah. Tony Marinaro, not going to be happy. He's not. But I am. I got that right. All right. Uh, what time are we? All right, so about 10 minutes from now, I'm going to be on Don't Puck With Media, doing the post-game breakdown. Link is in the description to get to the channel. Um, that's it. Uh, great win by Montreal. Uh, next game is uh, Thursday at home to Philadelphia. Road trip is over. They went 2-2-1 uh, two, uh, two, two and one on this road trip. Got five points out of it. Uh, 500 road trip. That's awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll see you in about 10 minutes on the other channel for the breakdown. Thanks for being here. See you next game. See you soon. Whatever you want to say. Till then, stay safe outside. Stay safe outside and inside, too. Stay safe out there. Peace out, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, everybody. Go Habs, go!